Hello everyone. This video, we're going to learn how to use Cat 5e and Cat 6 Ethernet cables to create a thousand feet PoE network system. So, to most of us who are not really familiar with PoE technology, PoE technology is the the method we use to transmit both power and data through one Ethernet cable. In this case, we don't have to worry about the power supplies near our IP devices and everything will be really easy to set up with one Ethernet cable, very easy and clean, tidy. Although the PoE technology is limited to 100 meters, which is 328 feet. And what happens, what should we do if we want to break the barrier? Because after that, the signal will drop and the power might not be enough for the edge device. Well, we will have to get the help from other devices connecting it to the whole setup and they will help us reboot the signal or provide more power, more energy to transmit far enough so they will have enough at the edge device. So if we want, we can use purely power switch and purely extenders. These I've talked about in my previous videos, you can take a look at them. But what happens if we want to reach a thousand feet? A thousand feet is like around 300 meters more so. If we want to do that, we're going to have to do two extenders in one setup. So this is kind of like daisy chains and PoE extenders, we can daisy chain them all the way up to 500 meters. After that, all the extenders will be kind of more weak to extend. So today, in order to reach a thousand feet, we're going to use a 95 watts high power PoE injector which will provide enough power to travel a thousand feet. Then we will connect to our main network to our PoE power switch which will be 100 meters, roughly 328 feet. After that we're going to extend another 100 meters with a PoE extender. This one, one input, one output one. Really easy, really basic, so for an easy extension, we can just use a one input, one output PoE extender. Sounds good. And then, roughly, finally, connect to our IP device. I will not use a total of 300, uh, 300 meter Ethernet cable, but I will show you guys how the spacer will be set up. A fast introduction about devices. The 95 watts high power injector receives data from our na main network and then injects 95 watts of power to our Ethernet cable. And when it go goes to our PoE power switch 328 feet away, it will have our main reminder of 71 watts. And then the 71 watts will be divided and sent through a second Ethernet roll of Ethernet cable, which will go another 100 meters and reach our extender. Our one input, one output extender will repeat the data signal, and then it will go another 100 meters finally to our IP camera. The power will be totally enough because IP camera usually does not require that much and the signal has been boosted two times but still will be clear enough and for the camera to receive. Okay, now the setup is really easy. So first, let's take a look at this whole table. We're going to remove the items we don't need. And then our PoE injector. Make sure it's connected to our alternating current outlet and then connect it with our main network at the Ethernet port. Then we use 100 meters of Ethernet cable, connect it to the Ethernet plus CC output. So now the Ethernet cable is filled with PoE signal and then we connect our PoE power switch. And remember, we have to can always connect to port number 8. Because port number 8 is the designated port which will receive power and data and then resend the power and data through the other 7 ports. Now we can see that the PoE power switch indicator power is on. And now we will connect our extender with our PoE power switch. In this one, we have to go ports and one to seven. Anyone is okay. And remember that we have to input. The signal goes through input first. 
And now we will connect our extender with our IP cable, which is really easy. And you can see the indicator is on on the IP camera, which means there's PoE signal transmitted through. And now let's just wait for the image to show up. So now we can see we have an image on our monitor here. I'll put my hand in front of the camera so you guys can see this is a live video feed. And great, this connection is very perfect. And that's pretty much it for this video. In our next video, we're going to go and discover a new method to go reach 500 meters, which is roughly 1,500 feet. And the way we can achieve that is also including a very special device. If you have any more questions and comments about this video, you can leave them at the section below. And thank you guys for your time. I'll see you guys in the future. Goodbye.